One of the things that really kind of confounded me when I was first looking at the Catholic Church in more scrutiny was the devotion to body parts of Jesus. Why not say, I'm devoted to the love of Jesus? The idea of saying, I'm devoted to his sacred heart was odd for me uh, until I began to think about it logically. If there's a hypostatic union between the God and the man, Jesus as fully divine and Jesus as fully man, well, there's going to be a unity between his actual heart that bled for us, that broke, was broken for us, and his love that caused that to happen. There's an incredible, there's an incredible gift in suffering. And it actually reminded me of uh, a story that I heard growing up in Thailand on the mission field. This um, man was sharing that he had, um, he had been frustrated by his mom uh, all his life because uh, in the Buddhist mentality, the fact that she had a very scarred face, uh, very ugly to her, uh, that meant that she was somehow lesser, that she didn't have as good karma, that she must not have been as good a person in the previous life. And so he was incredibly ashamed of her, wouldn't bring any of his friends home to her to meet her. And one day, his aunt, he was, he was sharing that his uh, aunt uh, said, why do you treat your mother so poorly? Why do you act like you're embarrassed about her? Why do you act like you're so ashamed of her? And he said, auntie, don't you see her? She must have been a wicked person in her last life. Look how scarred she is. And the auntie sat him down and said, let me tell you something. Have, has it ever occurred to you to ask why she's scarred like that? When you were a baby, the hut was burning down. And when she arrived on the scene, she found out that you might still be in there. And they said, don't go in there. You only kill yourself too. She went in there and covered you with her body. That's why she has those scars, because of her love for you. Those scars on her face are an expression of her love for you. And as he was saying this, he said, now I'd like, um, I'd like the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life to please stand up. This is my mother. Isn't she the most beautiful woman you've ever seen? And it's the very scars that are the expression of her love, which is why I believe Jesus has divinely chosen to keep those scars for all eternity. So when I think of the scars of Jesus, when I see the scars of Jesus portrayed on a crucifix, every one of those scars are an emblem of his love for us. It's more than just this kind of vague, metaphorical sense of his heart for us. It's something very literal, very tangible. When we talk about the sacred heart of Christ, that is a visual, not just a representation, but a channel of his love for us. Every one of those scars.